Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about MTX in RuneScape. So I know this is a topic that is talked about a lot, um, especially in the last few months. Um, but Jagex has actually recently done a live stream talking about MTX in RuneScape. So I did want to share my opinions on that and just my opinions on MTX in RuneScape in general. So just starting off, a lot of people have a really big issue with MTX in RuneScape 3 and I think it is mostly because of the XP rewards, the coin rewards, you can also or you could also get uh, tier 80 Virtus equipment which was pretty good for the treasure hunter. Some say it's not that good because you can't augment it but still it is a new high tier PVM equipment that is pretty viable for most bosses um, and you can simply obtain them from Treasure Hunter. So there really is a lot of mixed opinions about Treasure Hunter and I actually think just uh, the people who are strongly against it they're just more vocal which is why we are seeing it all over Reddit and uh, a lot of people are talking about it. And so as you can see on screen now this is me just scrolling through the RuneScape subreddit and it is basically always like this. Basically every post on here is someone trashing MTX or trashing the game. They're talking about Jmods leaving. And a lot of people are just upset within the RuneScape 3 community. And most of this disappointment does revolve around MTX. So anyway, let's get into my opinions on MTX. Um, so I am with a lot of you guys. I really don't like it in RuneScape 3. I find it really devalues the achievement aspect of RuneScape 3, which is a big part of RuneScape, is having accomplishments and feeling good about these achievements. Because RuneScape 3 is supposed to be a really difficult game, a really grindy game. And so having XP rewards and money and high level PVM gear just thrown at you, it really does upset a lot of players. And so before I go further into depth into my own opinions, I would like to give a brief summary of the MTX livestream that Jagex did recently have. Um, I'll also give you my opinions on some things that they did say. Um, so one of the first things they did say, they asked the question, where is the MTX money going? And so this was a pretty interesting uh, question. They said that it does go some to Old School RuneScape, um, some to RuneScape 3, of course, um, but they also kind of counteracted that as saying that the money from Rune Old School RuneScape Mobile, they would use some of that um, to update RuneScape 3. So it is kind of just a, a big pool of money, and they're not really keeping track of where it is going. But it was really interesting to see. I did look in their financial reports, and actually 36% of Jagex revenue is from MTX. So that is really interesting because old school RuneScape, it is seen as much larger than RuneScape 3 nowadays. The player base is, I believe it's three or four times as big and 36% of this revenue is coming straight from MTX. Um, now bonds do count as MTX. So some of the MTX revenue would be considered old school RuneScape bonds, but most of it is most likely from RuneScape 3 through things like Treasure Hunter. And this is really, really important to know because, as they said, a lot of this money does get used for um, updating old school RuneScape and not just RuneScape 3. So I think they should be putting more money into RuneScape 3 if they are going to continue to have microtransactions into the game. Another really cool thing that I did notice in their financial reports is that they are giving out 95% of net income as dividends. And what this does mean is that they are giving 95% of their profit back to the investors. So as you can see on screen, they're giving 42 million of their 45 million of net income to their investors. And this is a significant portion. Personally, I really don't like this. I think they should be putting more of this money into actually upgrading the game and hiring more people. They could get mobile out faster, get more updates out faster, and pretty much just make the game much better. There are a lot of bugs right now. Um, so just seeing that they do give out so much money back to the investors, it is a little bit disappointing. So anyway, that is uh, my take on 
where the money is going and what's really happening with it. They are putting a lot of it or giving a lot of it to the investors. Um, anyway, I'm going to move on. I don't want to make this video too much um, business savvy and whatnot. Um, so the next comment that they did mention uh, that I noticed that they they actually asked, um, or they were asked if they are milking players. And they said definitely not, although this was a little bit suspicious because of all the MTX they are dumping into the game. Um, one big problem with MTX is that they have the treasure hunter, so it is a bit of a gambling thing, and that is really problematic. Um, so a lot of people say just ignore it. Um, why would people waste money on treasure hunter? But a lot of people do have gambling addiction, and this is a real thing. Um, so people can't really help themselves and they do spend a lot of money on Treasure Hunter just because they have that impulse to uh, gamble all their money away. And and there, it's something some people can't really control. So it is really sad that um, Jagex does have this and they don't even have a limit on the amount you can spend with Treasure Hunter. Um, and that leads me to the next question, which they they were asked. It was... Are they going to add an option to switch off Treasure Hunter? And they basically said this is not feasible because it would pretty much make it so they wouldn't make any profit off the game. And this this really upset me. It really made me feel like they are extremely profit-driven, that they don't even care about the well-being of us players. Um, I, I would at least like to see an option to disable it. You know, everyone hates getting all these pop-ups. And whatnot, they said that they try to only have the pop-ups for players who like Treasure Hunter. But me, as someone who has never purchased anything off Treasure Hunter, I really don't want to see any of these promotions or anything. So having an option like that really should be put into the game. Although, definitely don't expect it. And then another thing that they did mention, they actually were talking about new premium auras, which you will be able to buy with bonds. And they actually said people asked for this um and i highly doubt this people are outraged with mtx you think they will ask for new auras that can only be purchased through bonds which is technically a microtransaction so that was really really weird that they did mention that um definitely wasn't a good live stream uh, the next thing i have here is they were talking about what to do they think is fine to put on treasure hunter and so their response to this was uh, they were talking about the Virtus that was added and they basically said that some players have actually been asking for more high-end gear to be put on Treasure Hunter. So that is why they ended up putting Virtus, uh, fifth best in slot item on uh, the Treasure Hunter. And I think that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, maybe one or two players or 1% of the player base may have wanted that. Um, but basically using that as an excuse, I really didn't like that at all. Pretty much everyone doesn't like that they put Virtus on the Treasure Hunter. Um, so that was a little bit of a weird response by them. Um, another another thing that they were talking about, it was um, putting more cosmetics um, rather than XP on the Treasure Hunter. And again, they said it's not feasible. Um, most of their revenue is obviously off making are obvious off the treasure hunter which is because the xp rewards are there that is what people want so they basically said we are not going to change it to just cosmetic we need those xp items there because that is what people want and that is why people actually spend their money on treasure hunter um, another thing they were talking about they were actually working on a battle pass system and so this basically will be another MTX grab um, a lot like games like Fortnite um, basically every game has uh, battle passes nowadays but um, I really don't like the idea you know, just by putting another subscription into the game for a battle pass just for some more cosmetics and free XP and stuff like that not something I'm interested in um, but I guess uh, that is something they are going to be working on so of course I don't really like that um, essentially the whole stream it wasn't really what people wanted to hear or at least most people wanted to hear um, they essentially just said they're not going to remove xp lamps um, they're not going to disable the feature of treasure hunter for any players not even give players the option they basically didn't really say anything players wanted they're basically going to keep it exactly the same 
Um, and that is something I really don't really like. So now onto my personal opinion. I think they should at least have an option to disable Treasure Hunter for some players or at least the pop-ups and all that. Um, I don't I don't mind it. Like I do understand that they do need it into the game. It does make them a lot of profit. Um, but they should at least have the limit. They should not exploit people who have the gambling addiction. So essentially I am okay with them having Treasure Hunter. I just don't want them to shove it down your throat and just promote it endlessly. I also strongly believe that there should be a limit to stop players from spending a significant amount of money on Treasure Hunter. Um, I don't really care if they do add a disable option or not, I guess. Um, it would just be nice if they didn't just promote it so heavily to everyone. Um, but overall, I do understand why they do have a Treasure Hunter, and I don't expect them to get rid of it. Um, even the XP rewards and all that, I don't expect that to go away, and I do understand why it's in the game. It would be nice if they didn't make it so overpowered. Um, recently, they have had a big XP power creep, so the XP lamps and all that that they are putting in to Treasure Hunter, they have been getting a lot more overpowered and giving players a lot more XP. So that is something that I would like to see toned down. Maybe stop putting um, higher XP rewards in Treasure Hunter. Just keep it where it is. And I think that is pretty much fine. Um, as for the high level gear that they are putting in, I think they should just stop at Virtus. They shouldn't put any more. Um, I don't think they should have put Virtus in, but it's in there. So I don't think they should up it though. Just try not to put high level PVM gear into the treasure hunter mechanics um, anyway that is pretty much all I have to say for treasure hunter um, I would like to talk about another um, thing that has been going on in the runescape 3 community a lot of jmods have been leaving runescape or leaving jagex and a lot of people are upset about this and whatnot but personally I don't really see a big issue with it people are thinking the game is dying because jmods are leaving for other companies but that is just something like in general about life people leave jobs to go to other ones um, obviously these mods have had an excellent career with jagex and they may have just gotten a better opportunity to work for a uh, better company they got a better job or whatnot so i don't think it has anything to do with jagex itself or the game of runescape i wouldn't consider runescape dying at all it should be around for a while quite a while um, especially with runescape 3 mobile being released uh, fairly soon i think that will really help the game out so overall my opinions on mtx and treasure hunter i don't like it but i do understand it um, again i think it is okay for them to have treasure hunter in the game but maybe tone it down a bit, put the limit on how much people can spend. And then one final point that I would like to mention. I would like to mention that the Jmods, it isn't their fault that they are putting MTX into the game. It is the investors. It is Jagex. It is the corporate greed. So it's not the Jmods. They do love the game and they know it is hurting the game. They do have to develop the, the MTX and all these promotions because the investors want profit. So it isn't their fault. Um, I wouldn't blame them at all. So when they do the MTX live streams, they are trying their best. Yes, it is not what we want, but it, it isn't what they want either, I don't think. I think it's more the investors and Jagex itself that wants the money and wants MTX in the game basically just to make all the money so i do want to just mention that point just to clarify that and so i really felt it was important for me to make this video um, simply because mtx has been talked about a lot recently a lot of people are upset um, and i did just want to give my opinion as to my thoughts on mtx and the whole situation so anyway guys let me know in the comments down below how you feel about microtransaction in runescape and if you agree with me if you disagree with me let me know in the comments down below it is really important to express your opinion um, and hopefully jagex will actually make this right and make it so a lot of players agree with what they're doing 
rather than how it is like right now. So any of you guys, I really hope you found this video informative. I do have a Road to 120 Slayer series that is ongoing. So if you guys want to see any of that, definitely subscribe to the channel. I also have a lot of other really cool RuneScape 3 content that will be coming out as well. So anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.